Hello everyone, my name is Sora, and welcome to my Voodoo 101 guide. First, let's take a look at it in action. Here we are in the Pit of Sauron at the first boss, Garfrost. I'm a disciplined priest, so get used to seeing lots of bubbles. I can easily see who has a bubble by those tiny white squares in the bottom left of each player frame. I can also see who is the weakened soul debuff for my bubble, and now four people have been hit by his permafrost. Now I'm casting my Renew Hot on everyone, represented by the green bar up top. As the hot counts down, the bar depletes. The pink boxes show me when my crit bubble, Divine Agus, has propped. Now you see that parts of their health bar are lighting up green. This is the incoming heal display, which shows about how much of their damage taken will be healed. Okay, I think you've gotten the gist of it here. Now let's switch over to Putricide 25 Man, so you can see what the raid display looks like. Here you can see me pre-bubbling people who I know will take damage. I have my frames set horizontally, and they are ordered based on max HP. This means that people on the right will have a lower health pool than the ones on the left, and in this situation I start bubbling them first since they have a higher chance of dying and fewer hits. I've been assigned to healing and bubbling the raid, so it's important that I see who has bubbles and who is the weakened soul debuff. Voodoo does a great job at showing all that information in a small space. The red outlines show me who is aggro by putricide and the slimes. I can also easily see who is being targeted by the slimes, thanks to the debuff and the raid marking. You can see that health bars, other than the ones I am healing, are lighting up green too. This is great because I can see that another healer has them covered. This means that at least one other healer in my raid either uses voodoo, or another healing add-on that includes the incoming heals library. You can also see player frames becoming more transparent. This means that they are currently out of my healing range. Okay, enough of Putricide. Now let's take a look at configuring Voodoo. Do slash Voodoo opt to open Voodoo. As you see, I am also using the new beta version, so some settings may not look exactly like the ones that you have. If you're opening it for the first time, your bars will not look like mine because I have heavily modified them. The first tab, General, will have two options you want to have checked off. In the filter window, check 5-man MTs, and it will automatically filter the main tank into random and put it into your tanking panel. In the hide panels window, check empty to make sure that your voodoo raid frames do not show if they are empty. Also check off solo to have them hidden if you're alone, though I left it unchecked for this video. Click down to the scanner section and you will see Voodoo's range checker. I would type in your main healing spell, such as Flash Heal, Holy Light, or Lesser Healing Wave. Whatever range this spell has will determine what point a player frame will fade out. Click down to the threat section and make sure that text is checked off. Go down to indicators and you will see one of the new features of Voodoo. Here you can find even more options for displaying effects, like aggro, threat, and swift minable targets. Go down to the miscellaneous section, and at the very bottom is where you can customize your resurrection message. In the incoming section, you absolutely need to make sure that you have those incoming heal options checked off. As you saw earlier, this is what enables your bar to light up green in the amount that you will heal for. I have turned off overheal, but this is just a personal preference. If you have other people in your raid who also use Voodoo, or have healing add-ons that have the incoming heals library, you will see bars lighting up green for their heals too. The cluster section is another new feature of Voodoo. It basically adds a border around a player frame to indicate whether or not they will be healed by spells like Chain Heal or Circle of Healing. You will absolutely love this if you're a shaman. Now onto the spell tab. This is where you will sign your spells to your mouse. As you can see here, my left mouse button is bound to flash heal. And when I left click on my player frame, that's the spell I will cast. You'll also notice a tiny blue square in the bottom right corner of my player frame. I have that to show whenever my buff, Grace, a 6% healing buff for the target, has procced. My mouse button 4 is bound to my Renew HUD, and for this buff I have it set to show a shrinking bar instead of a color box, so I can more clearly see when it's about to expire. Now I have bubbled myself, and you will see the white box in the lower left. As a disciplined priest, it's very important to know who is bubbled and who is the weakened soul debuff. 
which you can also see by the debuff icon up top. You can also use key bindings, but as you can see here, I currently don't have those set up. In the miscellaneous section, you can set up key layout profiles for which spells you have bound. This is good for people with dual specs like me. When I switch to my holy spec, Voodoo automatically switches my mouse bindings to my holy spells. In the smart cast section, if you have resurrect and cleanse checked off, when you are out of combat, it will let you res or cleanse someone by just clicking on the frame without having to resort to modifiers. When you resurrect someone, Voodoo also lights up their name in green, which is great when coordinating reses after a wipe. The buffs tab is all about Voodoo's buff watch, which I currently don't use, so we're going to skip over and head to debuffs. You should make sure to have all those boxes checked off. What those basically do is ignore debuffs that you can't do anything about. For example, as a priest I can't remove curses, so I won't hear an alarm for when someone has a curse. At the bottom is where you can choose what sound you want to be played when someone has a debuff that you can remove. The custom section is where you can customize debuffs that might not already be included in Voodoo, like the Lich King's Soul Reaper. Here I have it set to play the Murloc sound, and I also have the bar color option checked off as well. So when somebody is afflicted by Soul Reaper, I hear Murlocs, see the custom debuff color, and the actual debuff icon as well. There's no way I can miss it. Okay, now we're on the Panels tab. This whole tab basically controls the look and feel of your rate frames. As you can see, I have my alignment set up to be horizontal. This means that groups go from left to right, instead of the default up and down. I also have players sorted by their max HP, which means that people with smaller health pools will be at the bottom of the group and people with the most will be at the top. I like this because it's one easy factor into the overall equation of healing priority. The sizing section controls how tall and wide your bars will be and the spacing between them. The bar section is where you can customize your textures. The header section is something I always have disabled since I don't need to see them, though they are shown by default. Enabling tooltips will show a tooltip for a player when you hover over the frame. I have this turned off as well. The text section controls the various text that you can see on each player frame. For example, I have names set to be centered and in their class color, and the font I use is Luxie Sands. I like to keep things simple, so I do not show the actual number of health missing. The hot icons are what I mentioned before. You can see that the hot display I use is the third one listed in the upper left. The blue square appeared in the lower right corner when I hit Grace. Now you can see that box number 4 is set to show Grace. If you choose flat, your hots will be a simple square like mine. If you choose glossy, they will have a slight 3D effect. Having icons checked off will show the actual hot spell icon instead of squares. I have stacks turned off, however if you have it turned on via text or triangles, you will see a countdown timer or triangles counting down as the hot is falling off. The hotbar section is where I have my renew set up, and the miscellaneous section is where you can choose to show raid icons or not, or overheal text. The colors tab is pretty obvious. The state section is where you can change the color of what the bar will turn into when somebody has a buff that you can remove. The mode section is important for setting up your incoming heals display. Make sure that the background, text, and opacity are checked off, and that you have it set to a nice green color. When you first open up Voodoo, the default layout has the bar set to be red for low health, yellow for fair health, and green for good health. If you like that sort of display, here's where you would change those color settings. The power section is pretty simple. Here's where you would change the bar colors for mana, rage, energy, and roots. The hot section is where you would choose what colors you want those hot squares to be. Hot section number 2 has the settings for the hot stacks if you had that enabled, and the hot bars. For class colors, I would leave that as is for now, and the same thing for raid icons. We're almost done now. The panels tab has a profile section where you can save all your layout settings. For example, you could have a different profile with smaller bars set up for AV, which has 40 players, and another profile with roomier, larger bars for your 10 mans. The panel wizard section is where you can add more panels, and if everything goes horribly wrong, you can go to the reset section to have Voodoo return to its default settings. As you can see here, I have three panels. On the left is where my tanks go, the raid is in the middle, and on the right are pets. That about covers the basics of Voodoo. 
If you have any questions about Voodoo, I would highly suggest visiting the Plus Heal forums and posting there, since the creator of Voodoo is active there and offers wonderful support. Thanks for watching, and I hope this guide has been helpful for you. Loktar Ogar. Good.